beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome. I know it's been a few days. Let's go ahead and toss out some notifications. We are live. We'll send out we'll send out a few of those over there on the Discord. There we go. Let's also go ahead and get comments pulled up. That's gonna make it pretty dark in here for just a second. Do not worry about it. Who's gonna get first in the chat today? Let's see. Brian, Brian, what's up, dude? Welcome. Uh, as soon as I get these pulled up, there we go, okay, Brian getting first in the chat, what's up, dude, welcome, welcome, I know it's been, uh, like I said, I know it's been a few days, what has it been, like two or three days since our last stream, so had a bit of a, had a bit of a break there, I tried to keep up with doing, like, the TikToks and the YouTube shorts, I actually just did a short today, if you guys want to check that out, but, again, I apologize for the little break we had there, but we are back on track, Tanner, what's up, dude? Welcome. Let me fix the comment. No, I don't have to fix the comments. There we go. They started working. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> what is everybody up to tonight? I know this is a bit of a late one. A bit of a late one. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see who we get in here. Today, guys, today we're going to be talking about a very important subject, anxiety recovery. Stop triggering yourself over being triggered. You may have noticed that it went a little dark there because I had to check. I had to check the title of my own stream. You guys know I don't come into these things uh, with a script, so sometimes I even forget what we're going to be talking about. But that is what we're going to be talking about. Stop triggering yourself over being triggered. This one's huge. This one's huge. You know, what I try to do with my streams, every single stream, I try to wrap it all up with the same concept, which is acceptance. And, you know, I try to I try to make every single stream be the only stream that you'll ever need, right? I try to I try to make every single stream be that way. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Stop triggering yourself over being triggered is what we're gonna be talking about, and it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. We are going to give it a few minutes, though. We are going to give it a few minutes. Let some people get in here. Let some people get in here who want to join us live. How have you guys been? Everybody catch me up, man. It's been a few days. <clears throat> Make sure uh, that my phone is on silent. There we go. No interruptions. No interruptions today, chat. It is, uh, by the way, it is very stuffy in here. It's very stuffy. So I've got to run the AC and that kind of like blows into the mic and makes a little bit of a noise. So I apologize for that. But I just I really don't want to have a heat stroke. So we're going to keep that on <clears throat> for whatever reason. It freaks me out. We're going to talk about that today, Travis. We're going to talk about uh, all that nasty second fear. We're going to talk about all of that. How do we have it worded in the stream today? Stop triggering yourself over being triggered. That is what we're going to be talking about today. So don't you worry. Hang on. Hang on just a bit, and uh, we'll get started on this stream, and hopefully that question will be answered. How's everybody doing, man? Catch me up. Catch me up. <coughs> uh, let's see. Before we do officially get started, let's go ahead, if I can remember how to do this. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead, grab us a link for the Discord, and I will throw that in the chat real quick. I know a lot of you uh, struggle with those YouTube notifications, so honestly, joining us on the Discord is the absolute best way to make sure you get notified for the streams. I always do my best to drop that we're going live in the Discord. <clears throat> Throw that in chat. Should appear on screen in just a second for you guys. If you want to join us over there, uh, we've been going for about four minutes. You know what? I don't want to wait around too long. I don't want to wait around too long. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this stream started. Boom. I'll make that disappear. So again, whew, take a big, nice, deep breath because this is going to be a good one. And I need you all to pull up a chair. Okay, and listen, all right? So, what are we going to be talking about today, chat? Stop 
triggering yourself over being triggered. Now, everyone knows what it means to be triggered. Either you've got an anxious symptom, or you've got an anxious thought, or you've got an anxious symptom that leads to an anxious thought, or you've got an anxious thought that leads to an anxious symptom, or you've got put in a situation that leads to an anxious thought that then leads to an anxious uh, symptom, or you've been put in a situation that leads to an anxious thought that leads to an anxious symptom. All right, everyone here knows what it means to be triggered. To be triggered means you are anxious. Now, notice we don't care in what order that goes in. Okay, that is not your concern. We could really care less if we had a negative intrusive thought and that led to us being triggered or we had an anxious symptom, you know, our nerves are just tired, they decided to pop off and now we are now we are what we would consider triggered or maybe we just had a small anxious symptom, we started worrying about it and then we triggered ourselves. You know, we don't, okay, none of that is relevant. Once we start to get too wrapped up in that, it gets too confusing. So none of that is relevant. We'll put it to you like this. We all know what it means to be triggered. It means I'm anxious. Whatever I'm anxious over, right, whether I had a negative thought that made me anxious or a symptom or, or whatever, irrelevant. We just know that we tr uh, we are triggered. We know that the amygdala is triggered. What is the amygdala? The part of your brain responsible for your anxiety. Now, our goal, regardless of why we are triggered, our goal is to show that amygdala that there is no danger. So how do we do that? <sighs> we do that. We do that by not triggering ourselves over being triggered. What does that mean? If you can only wrap your head around that, you will have all the answers. What does it mean to not trigger yourself over being triggered? Now, regardless of why I'm triggered, I need to take a step back every single time I'm triggered. And maybe if I'm sensitized, it feels like I'm triggered almost 24 hours a day. Irrelevant, right? All I need to do is understand, first and foremost, that I am indeed triggered. And then what I need to do is follow that up with acceptance rather than triggering myself over being triggered. Let's give some examples of what it means to trigger yourself over being triggered, which is what we call second fear, which is what we call the problem, right? The reason the brain hasn't caught on yet. What is some examples of triggering ourselves over being triggered? Let's say I'm chilling. I've got the thoughts coming. I've got the feelings coming. Now, if I'm up in my head with these thoughts and these feelings saying things like, I don't want to feel this way, this is horrible, this may go on forever and ever and ever, I need to do whatever I can to get away from this, I really hope this doesn't happen, I hope this doesn't escalate, I hope these thoughts leave me alone, I need to do something about these thoughts, I need to do something about these symptoms, I don't want to feel this way, this is bad, this is not good, what should I do, coping method, coping method, coping method, if I'm going down that route, right, that means I am triggering myself over being triggered. I am triggering myself over being triggered. So not only am I triggered and my amygdala is, is off the charts right now, but I'm triggering myself over being triggered when I go that route. That's what we call good old second fear, right? This is just another way to put that. I'm triggering myself over being triggered. Now, that is the route that most of you have taken, which is why you're here now, because that didn't work, right? That is the route that most of you have taken, including myself in the past. We go down that route of triggering ourselves over being triggered. Now, what does it look like to not trigger yourself over being triggered? And what happens when you dedicate to not triggering yourself over being uh, triggered? What happens is healing over time. Maybe not as quickly as you'd like because it takes time for these changes to be made to the brain, but that is what happens when you quit triggering yourself over being triggered. So what does it look like then? We gave some examples on the, the other way. What does it look like if I'm no longer triggering myself over being triggered? If I'm no longer triggering myself over being triggered, it looks like this. Okay, I've got all these anxious feelings. I've got these negative thoughts. They're sticky. They're, they're loud. Sometimes they're loud. Sometimes it feels like they're screaming at you, right? I'm being, I'm being practically punched in the gut with all this anxiety, all these different symptoms and thoughts, and it's, it's rising and it's falling, and sometimes it feels like it's just never going to go away. But you know what? I'm remembering what Wonder Bro told me. I'm remembering that when my amygdala is triggered, my only job is to not trigger myself over being triggered. Notice I didn't tell you that your job is to make the feelings go away. I didn't tell you that your job is to make the thoughts go away. That's impossible. That's what you've been doing for so long, stressing yourself out. These things will happen naturally. Healing will happen naturally. Your one job is to no longer trigger yourself over being triggered, which looks like this. I've got all these feelings. i got all these thoughts. But I'm going to remember that while my amygdala is triggered, while I'm triggered, 
my one job is to be with it, get on with my day, do whatever it is I'm doing, but allow these thoughts and feelings to be there, no matter how uncomfortable, I don't go down the triggering myself over being triggered route. Because as I go da- that route, I'm just gas in the fire. As I go that route, I'm never gaining the confidence. As I go that route, I'm teaching my brain that there's a problem where there's not. As I go that route, I'm just messing it all up, right? So what it looks like to be triggered and not trigger yourself over being triggered is just reminding yourself. That's what it looks like, really, at the end of the day. It's just reminding yourself that, yes, this is not pleasant. This is not comfortable. This is not fun. This is not desirable. But it is currently what I'm going through. And as long as my amygdala is triggered, which means I'm triggered, right, my only one job is to stay out of it. To stay out of it. To stay out of it. So that looks like this. It looks like me going on with my day, even though I don't feel great. In fact, I might feel like a really big pile of poop, right? It looks like this. It looks like me just going on about my day. And even though these thoughts want me to fight with them and debate with them and try to rationalize with them, I'm just reminding myself that I'm staying out of it. It looks like this. I've got all these feelings that are telling me to stay in bed and skip today's meal, but I'm going to get up and enjoy my dinner anyway. That's what it looks like to stay out of it. Now, now keep in mind, I only gave you one job there, which was to stay out of it, which was to not trigger yourself over being triggered. I only gave you one job, and I want you to remember that. I didn't give you multiple jobs that said you need to make these feelings go away, you need to make these thoughts go away, blah, 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 blah. I didn't give you any job that sounded like that, because this will happen naturally. The brain and body will take care of that as long as you stay out of it, right? Now, I don't want (coughs) people going into this thinking that, okay, I need to stop triggering myself over being triggered. Fair enough, I'm going to try to stay out of it. When these thoughts and feelings come, I'm going to do my best to not mentally get up there and start fighting with them, telling all these stories. I'm just going to remind myself, as often as often as I need be, that I'm staying out of it. As you go about this, I do not want you to fall under the false belief that there needs to be instant results, right? Because as I just said, that is not your job. The body and mind will take care of that. If you say, okay, I'm going to stay out of it and go on about my day, no matter how uncomfortable I am, I'm going to let these thoughts and feelings kind of run their course. Eventually, they'll stop causing this reaction, okay? But if you turn around five seconds later and said, why are they still here? Why are they still here? Why are they? Then you're going right back. You are, going, you are then going right back to triggering yourself over being triggered. Right. You're then going right back to what we don't want you to go back to. You're then going right back to the nasty second fear. So you have one job and one job only. That's to stay out of it. You have one job and one job only, and that's to stop triggering yourself over being triggered. You have one job and one job only, and that's to remind yourself while you're triggered, hey, just stay out of it. My body and mind, they'll catch on. They'll start to realize that this must not be a real danger because I'm not trying to do anything about it. The trying to do something about it is what's fucking you up, to be honest with you. It's what's fucking you up. It's what's keeping you fucked up. Because the more you try to do something about it, the more you just get worked up. The more you add fuel to the fire. The more you tell the brain, hey, problem, 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 problem. Right? So, really, that that's one of the best ways that we could ever put that to you is your only job is to stop triggering yourself over being triggered. Now, I can't remember exactly if we've already done a stream on this. I know we've mentioned that little phrase before. Um, I don't know if we've actually done an entire stream on it. This this could be a repeat for all I know. But as long as you remember that one thing, okay? And I know, believe me, I know sitting in the fire with all this crap is not exactly fun. I know sitting in the fire with these symptoms, not a fun thing to do. I know sitting in the fire with these thoughts and not taking taking care of them, fighting with them, is not a fun thing to do. I know it feels like relief may never come. I, I get all the crap that your mind's throwing at you. I get all that. I get it. But this is the way. Let me show you the way. All right? So my point to you is I understand that it's not fun, and I understand it's not necessarily a jolly good time, but you've tried everything else. So what's most important to you? Your main goal is recovery, correct? Your main goal is getting back into the swing of things. Your main goal is reclaiming your life from anxiety. Correct, correct, correct? Okay, you might as well try something that you've never tried before because everything else doesn't seem to be working for you, right? Now, I know that as you go through this, 
You're going to have some ups and downs. You're going to have some moments where you may not believe in it. You're going to have some moments where you may not believe in yourself. Okay. I know as you go through this, it's going to rise and fall. And sometimes it's going to feel like it'll never fall. Right. I know all the tricks that you are going to encounter while you go about this journey. I know it all. Been there, done that. Right. But I'm telling you that if you make your one job to stop triggering yourself over being triggered, which is basically just a fancy way of putting second fear, which is just a fancy way of putting worry, right? If you cut that habit out, if you make a conscious effort to work on that habit and stick with it, now that's that's one of the most important parts, stick with it, you'll start to see the difference. I can't tell you exactly when, but I can tell you you will, right? If you sit around and worry about when, then you're still triggering yourself over being triggered. You're not using the advice to begin with, so why should we even talk about when, right? So, I know, and, and I'm just leveling with you guys for a second. I know it's not the easiest thing in the world. I know it's not the most jolly time of your life. In fact, sometimes I know it's really fucking hard, right? I get that. I'm just going to be honest with you. I get that. But I also know that if you stick with it, because everything else has failed you, but if you stick with it, right, you will start to see these changes be made. It has no choice. The brain has no choice. If you stop triggering yourself over being triggered the brain has no choice but to catch up now you can continue down the route of triggering yourself over being triggered but you're just a hamster in a hamster wheel you'll just go in circle after circle after circle after circle and you know what i'm not trying to shame you for that i understand that mistakes are made i understand that people aren't perfect in fact i wasn't perfect i wasn't even close to being perfect but one day as long as you keep coming back to acceptance, as long as you keep coming back to learning about this, as long as you keep coming back to putting in some kind of an effort, maybe it's not 100% right away, but as long as you give me some kind of an effort, some kind of practice, right? And again, I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but as long as you keep coming back to it and at least giving me a little bit of effort, it's going to catch on. It's going to catch on, and one day you're going to get sick of running in circles. You're going to get sick of banging your head against the wall. You're going to get sick of trying to avoid this and avoid that, and you're going to get sick of the coping methods. You're going to get sick of the compulsions. You're going to get sick of the reassurance. You're going to get sick of all that shit. You're going to get sick of all of it, and you're going to say, you know what, I've learned so much knowledge about this acceptance thing from that one guy on YouTube, right? I've learned so much about this acceptance thing. Why do I keep running in circles? Why do I keep banging my head on a wall? Why do I keep trying to avoid this and avoid that? Why do I keep using the coping methods? Why do I keep trying to do the reassurance thing 24 hours a day? Why do I keep fighting with my thoughts? Why do I... One day you're going to wake up as long as you keep coming back to acceptance. And that's okay. It's okay that it took you falling repeated times in order to finally 100% get on board. That's all okay, but as long as you stick to it, as long as you keep coming back to acceptance, right, eventually you're going to get tired of running around in circles. Eventually you're going to get tired of it, and you're going to dedicate to it, and you're going to remind yourself in the heat of the moment when it is most important, you are going to remind yourself of those words. I'm not going to trigger myself right now over being triggered. No, it's not fun. No, it's not jolly. No, it's not pleasant. But I'm sick of running in circles. And I know you are. I'm sick of running in circles. I know all this crap about acceptance, and I'm sick of running in circles. Now, that doesn't mean sometimes you might not fail, right? But as long as you get back up, that doesn't mean that sometimes you might not drop the ball, so to speak. That doesn't mean that sometimes you might not make mistakes. I made plenty of those, right? But what's important is that you get back on board. You get back on board. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from your mistakes, Okay, and better luck next time, right? But this, really, at the end of the day, that's not even the right thing to say. Better luck next time? No, this comes down to you, right? This comes down to you. So I'm, I, I take that back. I'm not going to wish you better luck next time. What I am going to wish you is, I hope you get on board and stay on board, right? Sanchez. Sanchez, thank you so much, dude. I'll address that in just a second. So, again... I take that back. I'm not going to wish you luck. This isn't about luck. What I am going to wish you is that next time, right, if you drop the ball, so be it. If you make a mistake, so be it. But next time, I'm going to wish you to get on board. I'm going to wish you to stay dedicated. I'm going to wish you to say, hey, I've had enough of living this way. I'm going to break out of the cycle, and I'm going to stick with it no matter how uncomfortable, right? 
That's what I'll wish you. Because honestly, this doesn't come down to luck. This comes down to dedication. So, you know, again, nobody's perfect. But what does this all come down to at the end of the day? Eventually, you got to get sick of being a hamster in a hamster wheel. And you got to say, you know what? My brain's only going to learn. Blah, blah, blah. My brain is only going to learn one way. <laughs> and that's by no longer triggering myself over being triggered. The, the, the fighting's not working. Coping method's not working. Fighting with the thoughts ain't working. Trying to solve the thoughts ain't working. It might work short term, never works long term. I've been at this for so long, I feel like I'm just running in circle after circle after circle, right? <clears throat> One day you're going to say enough's enough. And you're going to understand that no matter how uncomfortable I'm going to be with my thoughts and feelings, I'm going to sit in this absolute pit of hell. I know that that's what it feels like sometimes. I get it. I get it. I'm going to sit in this absolute cesspool and let it do its thing. Because I know that I deserve better. I know that I, I, I deserve to live a better life. And that's my end goal. And that's what I'm going for. So no matter how uncomfortable, right, anxiety is not going to be able to throw any uncomfortable symptoms or thoughts or feelings my way that I'm not willing to sit through. I'm willing to sit through it because I know what my end goal is. I'm willing to sit through it because I want my life back. No matter what anxiety throws my way, no matter what thoughts may come my way, I'm not going the fighting route anymore because I want to retrain my brain because I know what my end goal is. So whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Whatever thoughts come, can come. Whatever feelings want to come, can come. I know what my end goal is. I'm sick of running around in circles and beating my head against a wall. Because that's essentially what you're doing as you fight with this stuff, right? So I know that my brain is going to learn that there is no real threat. I know that my brain is going to lower the anxiety alarm as I practice acceptance. And no, it's not fun. And no, it's not rainbows and unicorns. And no, it's not going to give you instant results right away. It might take the edge off, but it's not going to give you an instant 100% results right away. But look how much time you spent fighting. Give me the same amount of time with acceptance and let's see let's see you completely change your life around right and the best way the absolute best way to do that is next time you are triggered remember those words i'm triggered i'm not going to trigger myself over being triggered and just let whatever come comes right whatever comes comes i think i think it was dr claire weeks who said those exact words or something close to it let whatever will come come right so that's it for the point of today's stream guys it was a good one it was a good one i'm glad that we got to catch up i'm glad we got to do a stream today uh, i missed you guys sometimes those little breaks are needed but at the same time i do miss you guys when we take those breaks uh breaks sorry i'm getting tongue-tied i'm getting tongue-tied sanchez let's finally uh let's finally address your tip 25 dollar tip from sanchez says what a bro sanchez my man thank you dude i appreciate it thank you so much Huge shout out to you, man. Huge shout out to you. Let's see. Um, <coughs> yeah, there we go. I think that's uh, one second. Yeah, okay. We're caught up. Thank you, Sanchez. I appreciate it, man. So now that we're at this part in the stream, if anybody uh, has any questions about everything that we just talked about, feel free to ask. <clears throat> feel free to ask. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and catch a smoke, man. I'm going to go ahead and catch a smoke. Then we'll probably switch on back over to the face cam. <clears throat> it is pouring the rain here, which is my kind of weather. I'm not complaining, man. It's got me in the vibe tonight. they said I'm fine I am not surprised right I'm sure you weren't surprised either uh, when will I learn uh, well it was like we were talking about there uh, near the end as far as when will you learn that really is just gonna come down to whenever you're sick of running in circles right whenever you're willing to experience even the worst of feelings whenever you're willing to experience even the worst of being triggered whenever you're willing to experience the worst of the worst um, and I'm not saying it'll get any worse than what it already is I don't know what situation you're in but whenever you've got the mentality of I'm willing to feel it I'm willing to feel the feelings and have the thoughts because I know what my end goal is and I know the longer I sit with all of it which is just a metaphor with you know that simply means be with all of it uh without fighting it my brain is learning and that might not be a, a quick process but it's one that i'm willing to undergo because i've already you know done so much time fighting 
it can't be any worse than that, right? I might as well try something new. So whenever you truly start to nail down that mentality of I'm willing to, to take whatever comes, I'm willing to take the punches, right? Whenever you truly develop that mentality, and you're working on it, but whenever you truly start to develop it 110%, that's when you'll start to see some big, big uh, changes start to be made in your life. Uh, because right now, right now there's a lot of still, I would imagine for you that there's still a lot of mental worry and, and fighting over it. <clears throat> All right, guys. Let's see here. Can I be on payroll on Discord? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, payroll? Hell, I'm not even on the payroll on Discord. I don't think we have a payroll. <coughs> Man, Wonder Bro with COVID on the rise uh, in my state, Texas, and my kids going back to school has me stressing out a lot, causing me anxiety again. Don't know if I should vaccinate or not. I seem with so much BS over this. Uh, obviously, I can't tell you, uh, I can't tell you which way to go with that. But just like I told Teresa just now, there's, there's still a lot of worry in you. You guys are learning. You guys have been learning for a long time. You're making changes. I'm not saying you're not making changes. You're making changes, but we need to continue to make those changes. We need to continue to buckle down with it. So you need to catch yourself, right? You need to you need to catch yourself. You need to catch yourself when you're on the roll with that worry. You need to catch yourself when you're on the ball with all that thinking. You need to catch yourself when you're heading down the route of fighting because all worry is is a is a form of mental fight. That's really all worry is, right? So you you just need to continue to nail it down, man. That's all it comes down to, Sanchez. You just need to continue to nail it down. Uh, sometimes life might test you. You know that's life. It, it tests. You know, it tests all of us from time to time. But regardless, the advice never changes, and that's the beautiful thing about the advice. So as these thoughts and feelings come, you say, you know what? They're there. I accept them. They may not be comfortable. I may not have to like them, but I'm not going to get involved with them. But I completely accept the way I feel in this moment. I'm aware of the way I feel. I'm aware of the, my mind saying this and my mind saying that, but I'm totally uninvolved, right? <clears throat> LOL, like employed. Employed as in, what do, you, what do you mean? Employed on the Discord? I don't have employees. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Sorry. No employees on the Discord. Are you talking about being an admin? Mike, I need you to speak English to me. I need you to speak English. You talking about being an admin? Is that what, is that what you want? <laughs> the admins don't get paid. They do that out of the kindness of their own heart. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's just a it's just a matter of nailing it down guys it's just a matter of nailing it down it's a matter of saying i'm willing to take the punches you know and sometimes those punches are strong and that's why people tend to fall off the wagon because sometimes those, like i said sometimes those punches are strong whether they come in the form of thoughts or feelings sometimes those punches are pretty damn strong and that's why people tend to fall off the wagon. They start getting involved with all the fighting again, right? Instead of taking a step back and reminding themselves, hey, I'm not going to trigger myself over being triggered. Whatever comes, comes. I'm going to let it unfold, right? It's, it's you know, it's a choice you got to make. Do you go down that route, which is the route we hope you go down, or do you go down the worry-fight route? And sometimes when life tests you, and sometimes when these when these punches are being thrown, right, it's easy to fall down that old habit, to go those old ways. Sometimes it can be uh, very easy to do that. <clears throat> very easy to do that at times. Very, very easy. I, was, I wasn't exactly sure what you meant, Mike. Pay, I thought I thought at first you meant um, that the admins get paid. I'm not sure, but hey, uh, that was just my take on it. I was trying to piece together piece together the puzzle there without all of the pieces, and that's kind of what I come up with. <clears throat> it's kind of what I come up with. 
Uh, but no, if you're if you're interested in uh, at being an admin, whether it's for the chat or whether it's for the Discord channel, uh, now that I know you're interested, I will definitely look at you in the future when I need more admins, because I'm sure I'm sure that day will eventually come. So now that I know that, I've got you in mind, Mike. I got you in mind. <clears throat> got you in mind. Got you in mind. Yes, definitely still worry. Uh, still too much worry. Yeah, so like I said, it's very easy to go that route. It's very, very easy to go down that old route. I mean, it's a, it's a habit at the end of the day. It's a habit, and it's one that you've got to continue to put forth that conscious effort of breaking. And, you know, that normally doesn't happen right away. That normally isn't something that people just pick up and run run straight away with and they're 100% perfect at it right away. Uh, that's normally something that takes time and that's why we're still here. You know, if it was as simple as, you know, if getting people to break that habit was as simple as making uh, one video, then I guess that would be that. But it's it's not that simple for most people. It's, it's a practice. It's a very strong habit, a very, very strong habit. And uh, it's something we have to work at together. So, you know, that's why we're still here. Um, I would say the absolute worst thing you could do is beat yourself up over it. I would say that's the, that's the worst possible thing that you could do. Uh, you need to remind yourself that you are trying to break a bad habit. So you know what? If you fuck up, if you make a mistake, so be it. Look at it as that. You know, that's just what that is. And then let's get right back on board. Let's get right back on board. <coughs> A lot, of, a lot of people kind of, um, kind of like assume. I guess, I guess it's easy to do, but a lot of people kind of assume that I, I guess, was perfect at this right away. I don't know. A lot of people just kind of see me, and it's kind of hard for them to be like picturing me how I used to be back when I was sensitized. It's hard for people to picture that, uh, but that you know, it did happen multiple times back in the day. So I get it. It's hard for people to to picture me like that, but you know. I definitely wasn't perfect at it. It was a practice. <clears throat> Any advice, Wonder Brown, store manager? I'm around customers a lot. I do wear a mask, but I'm afraid to be around people lately uh, due to COVID. I would say the same thing applies. You know, if you've took, if you've taken, you know, the if you're taking the safety precautions, you're wearing a mask, you're washing your hands, you're doing all that good stuff that they recommend. I would say at that point, you're taking all the necessary action. It's just a matter of coming to that that firm mindset that firm realization that you know what the second fear the fighting with it all none of you know getting into my head with these thoughts and entertaining them rather than just accepting these thoughts and feelings none of that's serving any purpose none of that is is making you know is keeping COVID away from me none of it's and, and that sounds obvious when I say it out loud but it's something that we tend to forget in the moment isn't it we tend to forget that in the moment. We tend to forget that all that nasty uh, mental fighting with the thoughts and feelings isn't actually doing anything. That's something we tend to forget in the moment. <clears throat> Not think of anxiety with symptoms. Well, see, that's the thing. You don't want to think about it because you don't want to feel it, right? So you're right in one way. We don't want you to go around worrying about the, the feelings. Uh, but, you know, I can kind of sense that maybe in a way you, you want to not think about it so that you don't have to feel it. We want to get you to a point where you're willing to feel it. You're willing to feel the feelings. You're willing to have the thoughts, but you're staying out of it, right? And that comes with practice. That comes with practice. That comes with practice, and it comes with giving yourself plenty of reminders in the heat of the moment. Okay, here it is. Here's the thoughts. Here's these feelings. I'm going to stay out of it. I'm going to stay out of it. Whatever comes, comes. I'm going to prove to myself that there's nothing I need to do, right? Because all that nasty fighting, we know where that gets us. Evening, Wonder Bro. Good evening, Denise. How are you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you been? <clears throat> welcome, welcome.
it's always good to see all the familiar faces, especially after we had like a three-day break there. Always good to see everybody again. Hope everybody's been doing well. Hope everybody's been doing well. fighting this heat I feel ya I feel ya I'm not a fan of the heat Denise I'm not a fan not a fan I'd rather like I always say I'd rather be cold than hot I'd rather be cold than hot if you're cold you can always put more on if you're hot you can only take so much off right you can only take so much off if you're hot, but you can always put more on. Uh, what did I miss? We were just talking about not triggering yourself over being triggered. So basically everything you already know. You're triggered, but you're not going to add to it. You're triggered, but you're not going to trigger yourself over being triggered, which is just which is just a, a, a neat way to kind of put to people, hey, be with your thoughts, be with your feelings, but be uninvolved. Stay out of it. So what did you miss? Uh nothing nothing new right nothing new the same thing we always always discuss just a a nice little reminder for people out of there out there sorry i'm getting really tongue-tied today i don't know why that's happened like six times already <clears throat> also guys also 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 i have been taking on more coaching sessions recently and i am trying to um get more people on board with that, right? So if that is something you'd be interested in, toss me a DM on the Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, not to toot my own horn here or anything, but everyone that I've been able to have one uh, with so far, it's been an absolute pre uh, pleasure. Why can I not talk today? It's been an absolute pleasure, and everybody seems to really be enjoying those. So I have had zero complaints. I am proud of that very very proud of that uh so yeah if that's something you're interested in it's just a little extra something that i offer feel free to reach out same i live in uh, california in the central valley our high was 105 today but it's dry heat Ugh. Blech. 105 imagine it's about 70 degrees here now uh and it's raining so my kind of weather my kind of weather i love it i love it Also, 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 I did do a YouTube short. I did that about an hour ago. You know, the little, like, 60-second uh, videos. I got one of those up on the channel. Just went up not long ago. If you guys want to check that out after the stream, toss that a like. I know uh, know a lot of people are fans of the short videos. So, got a new one of those up right now. Um, let's see. Is there any other things that I want to talk about or announce? Uh, I think, don't quote me on this, because I might be remembering wrong, but I think we're only like five people, if that, away from uh, 10,100 subscribers, which is crazy, that's crazy to me, That uh, that's 100 people that pretty much came out of nowhere really, really quickly, really, really quickly after we hit 10k, so almost added 100, uh, 100 more people to the channel already, and that's that's awesome. So thank you guys for that. Appreciate that. <clears throat> wow, too hot for me. I'm complaining about 97 in New York. I would still probably more than likely be complaining about 97 as well, Denise. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad there. Don't feel bad there. <clears throat> Hey, I I don't like it when it's in the 80s. So, you know, maybe I need to work on acceptance with the with the heat too. Wonder Bro, did you envision that many followers when you started this channel? Um, to be completely honest with you, no. No, I didn't. Back when I started the channel years ago, it was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. Uh, it's not really something that I sat down and, and planned out and really, you know, 
thought about too much. It's it's was more just a spur of the moment thing. I want to go outside. The thought came to me, hey, I've been feeling really good recently. I feel like my old self again. Um, you know, this acceptance thing worked. And this kind of spur of the moment, I was like, let's go make a video. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. That scared the crap out of me. Why do I always leave my volume on 100? Why do I do that? Why do I do that, chat? I give you guys the opportunity to jump scare me every single stream, and I never learned my lesson. Who was that? That was Mom of Eight with the $25 tip says, Yes, I am Mom of Eight human beings. I asked you, well, I think I asked you that last stream, right? Is that why you're, why, why you're saying that? I think I asked you, do you really have eight children? That is, that is crazy. That is crazy. $25 tip from Mom of Eight. Give it up for Mom of Eight. Thank you so much. Give it up for Sanchez, too, guys. These uh, these two amazing, beautiful people have brought us to our tip goal today, which takes us to a four-day streak. Now, as I said uh, last time, I don't know if it was last time. I don't know. I said at some point that if I take my little breaks like I do sometimes from streaming, uh, that does not set the streak back to zero. That would be stupid, and that would be me uh, punishing you guys for me taking a break, which I would never do. So the tip streak... Why can I not talk today? I'm getting frustrated. The tip streak... <laughs> I'm usually so fluent. The tip streak will stay the same whether or not we stream a particular day, right? So we are on to a four-day streak. Thank you so much, guys. Give it up for Sanchez and Mom of Eight for helping us hit that four-day streak. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Hey, that one weird girl, welcome. She made it to a live. Happy to have you. Uh, can you imagine us all in person together? That would be cool. Uh, you know, compared to some channels, I guess 10,000 doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you really think about it, 10,000 people, I mean, if you could just kind of picture what it would look like to see 10,000 people, that's a lot of damn people. So uh, that would be kind of crazy. But uh, uh, no, I never I never envisioned that it would grow to uh, the size that it has. Like I said, it was a spur of the moment thing. I wanted to help people. Um, I got up one day and said, hey, I feel good. I feel like I've been myself for a while. This acceptance thing's worked. Let's make a video. I threw it up on YouTube. Um, it was mostly my, my friends, I guess, from my Facebook page that watched it, like a few people here and there, and they all loved it. They were like, hey, you should do another one of these. So at first, when you've only got like two, three, four, five people watching your videos and like one like and like 10 views, um, <laughs> you know, it's not the most motivating thing in the world, but I was like, hey, it's helping a few people. It's helping like these two or three people that watch the videos. So let's do another one and then another one. And then another one, and another one, and and before you know it, I had 100 subscribers, and I was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy. That's that's like a pretty big milestone, right? 100? Like, I was over the moon. I was over the moon thinking about my 100 subscribers, right? So, and then, I don't know, it just kept going. It just kept going, and I think around, I think around 500, I would, I want to say. I think around 500 to 1,000, somewhere in there. Is when I was like, you know what, this is kind of starting to catch on a little bit. And if I dedicate to this, I could probably turn it into something. So eventually I made that realization and that's when I started doing videos like crazy. That's when I started getting things like green screens and, and video equipment and uh, all this other crap. And, and that's when I started to take it kind of seriously. And now here we are, fast forward, a couple years later, uh, we are at 10,000 subscribers. So pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Um, it would be so cool. It would be amazing. Would be amazing. I do not disagree with you. Imagine being bus driver with us on board, freaking right. The mad that gave me like magic school bus vibes. How many people here has actually seen the magic school bus? I miss Frizzle. Okay, and my 10,000 subscribers are on the anxiety bus, and uh, we're gonna overcome this thing together. I thought you randomly called someone on the chat. That one weird girl. All right, All right. It, it felt weird saying it, but no, that's that's her actual name. That one weird girl has made it to a live. So, <clears throat> okay, I'm a savage, guys. Sometimes I'm a savage, and sometimes I'm too high energy, and sometimes I yell at people in a loving way. But I would never call someone weird. Okay, come on, come on, guys. You know me better than that. <laughs> Hey, the TikTok, the Nightbot just dropped the TikTok link in the chat. I know there's got to be at least one person in this live right now that has a TikTok and does not follow me on TikTok. Okay? So, go do it. 
Go do it. Follow me on TikTok. It's right there. It's right there. Right there. I gotta just click on it. I gotta just click on it. The rest is uh, explains itself. Very easy. Just just give it a click. Give it a click. <coughs> and like I said too, for the people who are just now joining us, I did do a YouTube short today about well, right before I started this stream. Uh, I did a YouTube short, so about an hour ago, if you guys want to check that out. Check that out. Make sure you show the YouTube shorts some love, guys. Make sure you show them some love. Give them a like. Comment on them. Um, I want to continue doing the YouTube shorts, but I probably won't do them if they're not popular, right? I do what is popular. And so far, they have been popular, so let's keep that going. If you guys want to continue to see the YouTube shorts, show them some love. Show them some love. As long as you guys like them, and make them relevant, then I'll keep doing them, right? So if you like the shorts, make sure uh, make sure you show them some love. <clears throat> I love your TikTok videos. Thank you, Style Alert. Uh, I'm kind of a noob. I'm kind of a noob at the TikTok thing. Uh, I've never used it before I made the Vacate Fear account. So it's funny when I watch other people's TikToks and they're so like they they're so smooth. There's like no skip, but if you watch my TikToks, you can tell I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I've never done it before uh, because I'll like press record, say something, stop it like you're supposed to do. And then when I press record again, it's like my brain lags for a second. And you can tell that you can tell like most people's you, you, do you get what I'm saying. Most people's TikToks just go straight through so smooth. And on mine, there's like an obvious pause between each time I press the button. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think. I think I'm, like, giving it too much time. Maybe you're supposed to press it and then immediately, before you're even, your finger even lifts off the button, immediately start talking. Is that what you're supposed to do? I don't know. There's there's such an obvious pause in some of my TikTok videos. Everybody else's are just, like, smooth as butter. So it kind of saddened me, saddens me to know that I'm getting old, that I'm getting old and don't even know how to make proper TikTok, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, chat. It's all that matters, right? <clears throat> it's all that matters. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll we'll see at the end of the day if the TikTok thing catches on or not. I haven't noticed anything weird. They look great to me. I appreciate that. Um if you watch a lot of TikToks, though, you, you'll you know what I mean. It's like, it's not super obvious or anything, but there is like a slight pause. Uh, it, it's not like smooth, you know what I mean? It's not, maybe I'm just criticizing myself because I'm the one creating the content. That's what content creators do. They criticize their own content. But somebody in here probably knows what I'm talking about. They're not 100% smooth uh, like other people's TikToks. It's like I too much of a delay. <clears throat> How can you tell if you're white knuckling it or not? It's all about your mentality. If you're in your head saying, when will this go away? I'm accepting it. When will it go away? Then you're definitely white knuckling it because you're still in your head. You're still in your head fighting. So to say I accept, but then follow that up with when will it go away? That's that's not acceptance at all. That's like the opposite of acceptance. So a good way to know if you're white knuckling it or not is pay attention to what you tell yourself. <clears throat> How to stay motivated when nothing is happening during our recovery journey. Uh, you stay motivated by remembering the facts, right? You can catch a motivation stream here and there, but the best way to keep yourself on track and to keep yourself motivated is to remember the facts, that it takes time for a brain to learn. This is not just something I came up with. This is not just something that we pulled out of someone's butt. This is something that we know through studying the brain. It takes time for the amygdala to learn, because if it didn't take time for an amygdala to learn, it would be a pretty shitty protection mechanism. It wants to be 100% sure that you're okay. It wants to be 100% sure that it can calm down. It doesn't want to make a mistake and get you killed. Because let's say uh, there's a tiger after you and that anxiety and panic is keeping you fast, it's keeping you moving, it's saving your life, right? If you could retrain an amygdala overnight, then we might end up getting ourselves killed. So the amygdala is very smart in that way. It takes time to retrain the amygdala. Okay, so remembering that as you go on about your day and you turn these anxious moments into opportunities... Right, and you roll with it, remembering that will help keep you motivated. 
The amygdala is very smart. It takes time to retrain it. It's not going to happen necessarily overnight because if it could, that would be a pretty shitty protection mechanism. It's very smart. It wants to make sure that you're okay. And that's why it takes time to retrain these uh, pathways, to retrain this amygdala. So remembering the facts, you know, is probably, in my opinion, the best way for you to stay on track. Got to remember the facts. You got to remember the rules of the game. So <clears throat> that way, next time you're sitting there feeling anxious and you're having all these thoughts, yeah, it's not comfortable, but you're staying on board and you're not fighting with any of it because you remember how the game's played. Therefore, that's enough to keep you on track, right? <clears throat> I like facts. I like facts. Personally, I like facts. They keep me on track better than anything else, so... Facts of life. Facts of life. If I'm if I'm sitting here, you know, for example, when my grandfather passed away, or for example, when I started to go through all these big, big life changes, I remembered how the games played. Which was, if I start fighting with these feelings of grief rather than just feeling them, I'm going to make myself suffer, right? And I always say, this is good life advice. I use this advice every single day for life. No, it's not to the degree that it used to be. No, I'm no longer sensitized. You know, it's not some big journey like it used to be. That's all over for me. But I still use the advice just in everyday life. It's good life advice. So even when you become desensitized, I hope you remember the rules of the game. And I hope you continue to use acceptance. Because this, this shit is life advice. Forget about anxiety for a second. Acceptance in general is just good life advice. It's the best thing that you could learn in your life. It's the absolute best thing you could learn in life. Uh, sometimes it's hard to remember that anxiety is on your side. Its symptoms just feel like it's not. You're absolutely correct, Denise. And that's why we tell people from time to time, stop viewing your anxiety as a monster or something that's attacking you and start viewing it as your protection mechanism. You know, start viewing it for what it is, your protection mechanism, just a little bit out of whack. And it needs to be shown that all is okay by you not getting involved anymore. So yeah, you're absolutely uh, you're absolutely right, Denise. We try to we try to remind people of that all the time, all the time. Very important. Very very important. Hey, you're doing you're absolutely doing the right thing, Denise. I'm learning to let myself fill everything. That's what it's here for. Yep, remember the rules of the game. I will never forget the rules of the game, and I hope you don't either. Like I said, this is good life advice. <clears throat> you can you can desensitize your nervous system and get back to all your bad habits if you want, but personally, I never wanted to go that route. Acceptance makes your life better overall, even outside of uh, sensitization. Just makes It just makes for a better life. I mean, it really does. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm glad you said that though Denise that's a good way good way to put it sometimes it's hard to remember that anxiety is on your side but it definitely is it's just a little bit out of whack and it needs to be shown and you're right it can be hard to remember that sometimes definitely can All right, guys, we are approaching that one hour mark, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down here. Thank you so much for coming out and watching. I appreciate it, guys. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some real advice, man, and let's get on board and let's get your lives back. You're all on track, but I just need to keep you there. I need you to give me some dedication, right? I love you guys so much. Again, thanks for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Go check out the new YouTube short that is up now, and I'm sure I will see you very, very soon. And until next time,